Sometimes people ask, uh, if we look a little bit further into the future, what's going to happen in the layer one space? Who, who will win the game? Uh, and uh, apart from having worked with uh, people that try to predict the future most of my life and therefore having a very skeptical view of it, I'm not going to, to make any firm prediction on that. Uh, that being said, uh, I think uh, actually the answer is that no one will, will sweep the whole thing and, and, uh, and be the, the totally dominant uh, layer one blockchain. I think there'll be room for a number of layer one blockchains. Uh, there'll be obviously a distribution where some will get more and some will get less and some will get nothing. But I, I think we'll see somewhere between 10 and 20 significant initiatives in, in the L1 space, uh, catering for different tastes and different different verticals, etc. Uh, clearly, Ethereum, through its, its pure history and its ecosystem, uh, has a, a head start on, on, on everybody else. Uh, but I still think that uh, that that many things can change, uh, and, and many other layer one, layer one blockchains can be can be in that uh, in that running. Uh, of course, I think that uh, a blockchain like Concordium that uh, is built with, with the future in mind in terms of accepting that there'll be regulation, accepting that there are certain boxes you need to tick for big corporates to really dip their toe in the water. I think and hope we will be one of those uh, blockchains, uh, but uh, I do think that uh, it will be a number of blockchains. This, of course, opens up interoperability because right now the space tends to be quite fragmented and almost tribal. That needs to change, uh, but at the end of the day I think that uh, the majority of transactions will be done on somewhere between 10 and 20 different layer ones.